Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Adam and Chris Show. I'm St. Adam. And I'm Chris Malice. And joining us here today, we got a collection of Star Wars fans. And to my right is... I'm Corkscrew Tunic. There you go. Mike Mann. I'm the elf. And today we're here to talk about Star Wars. Rise of Skywalker, Star Wars fandom, the whole nine yards. So, without further ado, let's start off with some talking points. Guys... What is your favorite Star Wars movie, and why? It's got to be Rogue One. Really? Because that w that it was the intro into it all. You know, you started out with the very first scene, starting out with uh, Vader's Star Destroyer catching up to lay a ship. How did they get the plans? Right. Started it all, and that was the conclusion. How did the plans get to that ship? I'm going to go with Return of the Jedi. I love the lightsaber duel with Luke and Vader and everything riding on it. The fate of the galaxy is really being decided in this father versus son battle. And I thought, and the way it ended, and the way the Empire fell was so smart, and I thought so great with how it was acted. Like, you see Vader watching the Emperor shock Luke. There's no dialogue, unless you watch the, uh, <laughs> the special editions, but you... You don't, I don't hear think Vader. They, put any dialogue they did. I, I watched it on Disney Plus last night. Vader says oh, no, gosh. and then turns around and grabs the Emperor and says no. That oh, yeah. But the original yeah. part, where he, no dialogue, but you can't see Vader's face, but you know exactly what he's thinking. And I thought that well, was he so does good. That look back and forth. Mm -hmm. So you know he's thinking, why, why are you doing this to my kid? Right. Um, um, the Empire Strikes Back. Okay, and why? I, I root for the villains. You do. I always root for the villains. Um, I don't know. I, I would have to say Return of the Jedi, but I, I'm a big Darth Vader fan, so, I, and I like origin stories. And, and in Revenge of the Sith, you get to see Darth Vader mm -hmm. become Darth Vader as we know him. So, for the prequels, Revenge of the Sith. For the originals, Return of the Jedi. Are you throwing any of the sequels in there, too? Uh, sure, all of them. They all have Darth Vader's mask in it. At one point or <laughs> <laughs> well, the second one didn't. Right, Last Jedi didn't, but, you know, and, he, he was name-dropped. Yeah, and Rise of Skywalker will, too. We don't mention The Last Jedi. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that in, in time. Uh, honestly, I think I'd have to say mine's Rogue One as well. I really enjoyed Rogue One. Like he said, I'm, I'm a sucker for lore. I'm a sucker for backstory. And just seeing how the Empire got the plan, or not how the Empire, how the Rebels got the plans, it was just, it was beautiful to watch. I do have one complaint about that movie, but it just wasn't enough Bothans. I'm a huge <laughs> fan of the Bothans. It, it was cool to see both the original trilogy and this standalone story come together. I Absolutely. agree. Yeah, <laughs> it, it really brought it together. It was just a fun movie to watch. And there was actually no Jedi, which is one of my favorite selling points about it. There was no Jedi in that movie. Very true. And Mike, you have to love it because it had one of the most badass oh. Vader scenes. Oh. That was one of the most badass Vader scenes I've ever seen. <clears throat> that, was, that was fantastic. And that was what all the reshoots were about. Mm -hmm. was just that two-minute hallway scene. You get to see Vader really kick some ass. And bless him for it. <laughs> all right. So what appealed to all of you most about Star Wars? It's just sci-fi, man. It's lightsabers, blaster fire. I grew up at the time where CGI was just coming out really strong and heavy, so it was just an escape. Me, I'm going to say it's, it's very epic. It's definitely sci-fi at its best, but... It also harkens back to like your medieval fairy tales too. So it's a combination of both and I think it pulls it off very well. I like watching shit explode. <laughs> there's that. <laughs> and there's a lot of big shit that explodes. <laughs> okay. Um, what was the question again? What appealed <laughs> to you about Star Wars most? Oh, I think a lot of it uh, in the beginning was the music. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom got me into classical music when I was a kid. And Star Wars had a lot of that classical music. And then uh, uh, Darth Vader. <laughs> just seeing Darth Vader on the screen, I, you know, I would watch him over and over just for that. 
You know, that's one of those moments in A New Hope when he walks in. There's no doubt who the villain of the movie is. Oh, yeah. No doubt. It's like, there's a villain right there. Yeah. Yeah. He don't have to have nothing written on him. They're, they don't have to show any story leading up to this is the villain. Yeah. You see him, he's the villain. Instant villain. <laughs> I'd have to say it's the depth of the universe. Just, just sheer immense size and untold stories that are in this universe. There's just so much that we either don't have explanations to yet, or we've got stuff that has so much backstory that it's just, it's fun. It's absolutely fun. I love it. And the tech. I really like that outdated tech. Mm -hmm. That's just, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's very colorful. And, you know, you're right. There's a whole universe there. I know, like, any writer can say, I created a universe, but Lucas literally created a universe. He did. Yeah, I, he did. Created an empire <laughs> <laughs> and, and a republic. Empire. Well, that just happened to coincide. <laughs> okay, who is your favorite character and why? Oh man, come back to me on that one. I need to think. All right, all right. I'm gonna go with Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Luke, hands down, you know, grow. Tashi station, I pick up some power converters. Hey, when we were when we were dickheaded teenagers, we all whined like that. <laughs> but you know, growing up, blonde hair, blue eyed, and I saw this guy, blonde hair, blue, excuse me, blue eyed. I was just like, you know, I always imagined like that could be me. I mean, okay, obviously there's no Jedi's in the real world, but I just kind of identified with that. There isn't. I hate to break it to you. I mean, there might be still be some Siths out there, oh, okay. but I don't think it, there's any more Jedi's. But yeah, I always, I always pulled for Luke. I always identified with Luke, and then like to watch him go from like the whiny teenager to just the stone cold badass Jedi in Return of the Jedi, and then to see even in the Last Jedi him be just beaten down but still redeem himself at the end. Oh yeah, then. Right. Yeah, that was awesome. I got this. <laughs> okay, so. Young Anakin. How young are we going? The first three. Jake Lloyd? All three of them. Okay. From Young the Anakin Earth. before he put on the mask? Before the mask. Yeah, so from when that. he was a kid being told, you know, you're too young, you're never going to amount to anything, to now you're a Jedi Knight, you're never going to be a master, and then him just being told, you're not good enough, constantly. And then just that fall to the dark side, the manipulation from the Jedi Order onto him to push him to that dark side. Manipulation from the Emperor. Yeah, both sides use, using him and how that kind of reflected how the real world is to So basically meet. the Jedi turned him into Darth Vader. Both well, sides. Well, you, the Emperor just saw an opportunity yeah. and took it and then the Jedi being manipulative as they are yeah. took advantage of pushing them that way because they're rules in order. Yeah, I can And then I you can have that. older Anakin, where he's Darth Vader, the mask now, and then he's that badass, evil guy who redeems himself at the end. Yeah. Who, once again, the Emperor's told, you don't have kids, they died at birth and all that, and now you have kids, <laughs> you think, know your kids are there. I think the Emperor told him that he killed them. Yeah. 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 And that he killed Padme. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, the Emperor tortured the hell out of Darth Vader. Yeah. You read the oh, comic. Yeah. The suit hurt him. The suit was designed to cause him pain. He was not allowed to modify the suit. Ah, what an asshole. And then, if you read the new, uh, well, new, uh, the Vader series that Marvel released here in the last four years, yeah. that first arc, he finds out from Boba Fett that the name of the pilot that blew up the mm -hmm. Death Star is Luke Skywalker. Yeah. And that's that. when it dawns on him, I have a son. Yeah. I was lied to all these years. Yeah, and that's uh, considered, I mean, that happened, like, behind the scenes in the originals. Mm -hmm. Be mm -hmm. Like, between, yeah, before Luke showed up, right? Or no, after Luke, right? After Luke showed up and destroyed the Death Star. Right. Okay. It was, like, right after the Death Star, because then Vader fell out of favor with the Emperor. But yeah, like uh, in Revenge of the Sith, he had so much power, and then after the battle with uh, Obi-Wan, he lost so much of his Force powers because he lost his arms, his legs, yeah. and then he Some was skin. nearly crippled at that point, yeah. lost the connection with the Force, and the, all he had left was the suit. I don't think, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think any of his limbs, I think from the knees down, 
Yeah. He was robotic. Yeah. Yeah. And I think knees down and, he, he and both arms. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. what I thought. So he couldn't use force lightning. He he lost a lot of his natural force uh, powers because of that. Wow. He was very limited. The suit helped him because it fueled his rage, which fed his dark side. But then he did. He never once had the power that he had when he was full Anakin. Yeah. When he was Darth Vader, he was never what he once was. So he was constantly fighting for what he once was, and hmm. that really hit me because just the constant strive for what you once were and seeing him go through that and then being the puppet of the emperor yeah that's uh yeah yeah Yeah, i like that that's why he ended up being my favorite just because of the trials and tribulations he had to go through and then once again he's the bad guy (laughs) he brought that he's the face (laughs) well speaking of follow that follow (laughs) that (laughs) my favorite character is freaking palpatine Oh, there you go. <laughs> and why? <clears throat> Can you think of a better heel? I mean, seriously, the moment you see him, even when he's supposedly not evil, you go like, he, he's evil. That's because he looks like uh, Mr. Burns. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's... I, 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 like vil- I like villains with a moral gray area like Vader, but at the end of the day, villains are still villains. I love villains that are irredeemable fucks. <laughs> and he's pretty irredeemable. Now, Palpatine or Sidious? Palpatine. Oh, so when Palpatine. he's still a senator. I, I yeah. think Palpatine I, is more... Up more front. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. More evil than the He Emperor. set everything yeah. into motion with yeah. the uh, entire trade <laughs> but, war and everything. I mean, and if, the show the bureaucrats were... If you watch corrupt. the originals and know what Palpatine becomes, and then watch the prequels and see him... You know it's in his mind what he wants to do. Oh yeah. So you that's just extra evil. And he's so good at it on, on film. Oh, like oh, yeah. when you watch I to me he was the best part of Revenge of the Sith, just watching he yeah, he did chew scenery, but he chewed he it did. well. Yeah. He chewed it well. Oh, and yeah. he 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 stole every scene he was in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Mike. Darth Vader. Yeah, I was, I, <laughs> <laughs> my man. Uh I don't know. I I would say because what he said, the villain. Um, he's in all black, and when I was when I was young in that stage watching that movie, I wore all black. Obviously, I'm not now. <laughs> and uh, I just love the mask, the breathing, just the cape. You know, I liked it all. The red lightsaber. I just thought it was all awesome. Do Did you, know- you feel powerful? Oh yeah, I still do. <laughs> I was I was reading a thing where George Lucas said Vader was inspired by Doctor Doom. Oh really? <laughs> I didn't know that. Vader wasn't supposed to be wearing that mask the whole time either. Right. And that really pissed off David Prowse. Because uh, his mask was originally just to cross over from ship to ship. But once they put it on him, he was like, oh no, it stays on. (laughs) (laughs) It looks too cool. And that's why David Prowse, the guy who was behind the mask, had the choice to play Chewbacca or Vader. And since Vader's mask was going to come off, that's what he went with. And then Vader's mask never came off. So, <clears throat> Disney's not happy with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I have three favorite characters. I could not no, just uh, narrow that down. No, 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 wait. I, I, I want to hear this. I want to hear We're this. We're on a time schedule. Uh, <laughs> we'll just start off with kind of like one of my top favorites is Mr. Onyurodo. Or what? Mr. Onyurodo. Or Thrawn for the people oh, that don't. I, I should have known you were going to say Thrawn. I, I love just the intelligence that that man brings to the party, especially uh, in the Legends books. The he's new, so evil, oh, but, he, but in a in a nice posh way. I know, and it's just, I know, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'll do it but very you, nicely. The fact that he can take a culture's artwork and be able to break down the inner workings of that culture and how their battle strategies are going to come yeah. from that. That. It's just it's beautiful to watch. He's very calculating. It's, He's very oh, good. Intelligence is a beautiful thing, especially when it's displayed like that. Um, one of my other favorites is Jaina Solo. If you're not familiar with Jaina Solo, yeah, it's Han I'm Solo's familiar. daughter. She is a just straight up badass with the resolve to do whatever it needs done. Done. I mean, if you're not familiar with the book, she took out her own brother yeah. after studying with Boba Fett for lightsaber training. Like, if that's not cool, I don't know what I is. I thought this question was only canon shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, like I said earlier, <laughs> movies, hashtag not my canon. Uh, and the other one is Darth Bane. 
And I, I don't really think I need to explain Darth well, Bane. Well, like, like I said, I remember when he broke Darth Batman. <laughs> Just, oh, yeah, I remember that story. <laughs> <laughs> putting that rule of two into effect, showing his true power, his true cunning, it's just... He's, yeah, those were good books. He was oh, they a major really were. inspiration to Plagueis and even the Emperor. Yeah, yeah like, mm -hmm. that's, that's, actually, Plagueis and Sidious are the last two in the Darth Bane line. Mm -hmm. They're the only two that followed the rule of two, or the last two, I should say. Well, Darth Plagueis didn't really follow the rule of two. He put an end to it. He actually stated to Darth Tyrannus. No, not Tyrannus. Tyrannus. No, not Tyrannus. No, 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 it's uh, 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 Tabranus or yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, he stated... Tenebus. Ten ten, yeah, Darth Tenebus. Darth Tiberius Kirk. <laughs> yeah, that but, too. Uh, when he killed uh, that his Jedi, or not Jedi Master, Sith Master, he actually stated that your era of the Sith comes to an end. <coughs> that the new era where we are politically powerful shall reign supreme. Blah. That, Stuttered through that. <laughs> that's another one I wanted to say was Darth Plagueis. Oh, oh such geez. a good character such an awesome character and and, he, and he's he's not his story is not canon it's, the only thing canon is what they said in the movie yeah. which is barely mentioning his name and mentioning that he was master of midichlorians and he didn't kill him in his sleep see that to me that book is canon in my head that book is canon I don't give a shit what anybody at Disney <laughs> says or whatever that book is canon there's so much in that movie or sorry it's a movie in my head. There's so much in that book that ties in with the Phantom Menace. At at one point in the Phantom Menace, actually in probably 75% of the movie, Plagueis is alive. Mm -hmm. Manipulate or, you know, pulling the strings to Palpatine. Yep. Even so, potentially pulling the strings for Anakin. Yeah. His and, miraculous <clears throat> conception. And I believe that... Uh, pa Plagueis is the reason for Anakin. Yeah, that's been a widespread theory. I believe that. Uh, you, it was either it's, him it, or it's Palpatine. It's canon here. <laughs> <laughs> that's where it matters. I do believe there was a comic that came out recently with the birth of yeah. Anakin or the creation. With, Palpatine uh, was Anakin's dad. And, you know, I've kind of looked into that Bullshit, a little bit. Bullshit, that's wrong. <laughs> wow. It's Plagueis. <laughs> All right, I can accept this. I like this. <laughs> this is now my canon. Yeah, when I heard that, I was really, really ticked off about that. Yeah, because I mean, they have such a good story in that book that they could they could tie it all together. Yeah. Oh my God! To to what it, what would would Plagueis be considered Old Republic? No. Do you think? Because he was alive for a long time. Uh, he was what like well, four hundred, five hundred, something uh, like regenerate. that. Regenerate. Well, uh, him. He was able to regenerate. Uh, yeah, he was able to Alt swap his mind. Oh, was he? I don't remember that. Thought he was. I just know he was able to like repair himself as he got older. He was able to repair everything that got old. You know, the secrets of Essen transfer out. oil of LA. Were lost with Darth Bane. Say ah. that again. The secrets of Essence Transfer were lost with Darth Bane. Oh, Darth okay. Plagueis could not move his mind to another. <laughs> so theory goes. He was trying. He, yes. in the books right. he was yep. trying. He was, and he was doing everything he could to make himself live forever. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Darth Plagueis. And he almost made it, too. If it wasn't for that damn Palpatine. All he, had to, all he did was he got, a, he got a little drunk, and I think he passed out, or I can't remember if poisoned he passed wine. out. He was poisoned. Oh, was it poisoned? Yeah, it was yeah. poisoned in the wine. That. Yeah, he got him drunk. Just, it's been a while. Just enough to get him that poison through. I was going to say, I know he, he got him drunk, and then he was just like, you know. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised he didn't see it coming. I mean, Palpatine looked like such an honest guy. Yeah. Odd, <laughs> I mean, but can't can't Plagueis using the Force? Can he see the future? I don't know. Could Sith see the future? I don't know. But they, they always cloud. say the I know they the Sith, it. the Sith Master. It's known that the Sith Master will eventually be killed by his apprentice. Yep, and become the master. Kind of makes you not want to teach. <laughs> I mean, why? Why would you take on that? Like, you, oh, you want to be my apprentice? Maybe One day you're going to kill me because it's meant to okay. uh, pass on all your knowledge and to create a stronger generation. Yep. It's yeah, all to pass on that. You power. don't want to die from some kid you're training. <laughs> but I taught him everything. You just do, ask Obi Wan. He shoved a lightsaber through my chest. But it meant that <laughs> you created even a stronger yeah. successor. Yeah. Than I even get it. You could. 
Well, okay, let's, uh, this one might, might cause some of you, for your heads to explode. What is your favorite alien race and culture? Don't hate me. The Ewoks, man. Really? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Those guys. They defeated, they helped defeat the Empire with sticks and stones. Man, well, they just, break bones. I was just exactly. talking to somebody about that. Those right. guys, they're, they're evil little, they they're tried evil, to, scary teddy bears. They held a golden god as their idol, <laughs> and they tried to roast uh, Luke, and, Luke and Chewie. Alive. <laughs> they, you watch them playing drums and their, their stormtrooper helmets. Yeah. Where's the rest of the storm trooper? Exactly. Well, they were looking they a little, little full, weren't they? <laughs> so, you know, they're been, happy. They've been eating the Empire. All right. They're well fed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely the Ewoks. They're, All right. Melissa's That's... little evil bastards. Man. <laughs> I just like them so fluffy and wicked, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Alien race. I don't know if it counts as an <laughs> alien race, but I like the design of Mandalorians. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? I, just because they started out as the Tong, I mm -hmm. can completely agree with that. They were their own race. That's where the design of the armor came from, was to fit the Tong's triangular heads. Oh, so, really? yeah. As far as culture goes... he doesn't know about Star Wars. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, let's see. As far as culture goes, Jedi culture. Yeah. It's just badass to me. It is. Gross. Chris? <laughs> oh, dude, I, I love the darkness. <laughs> really? Oh. You're a fan of that band? No, 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 <laughs> that, uh, no, no, the dark side. Okay, so Sith culture. Weren't Sith a race? The Sith were I, a race. Yeah, I, I seem to remember when they gave someone the title of Lord of the Sith, there was actually a race called the Sith. It was an entire yes. world. Yeah, they were all, there was a, a Sith species. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were all red. I think they had, like, tendrils hanging down from their face or something. And some of them were Force-sensitive and some of them weren't. Hmm. You've taught me something new today. Oh. I didn't know this. Wow. Yes, yeah, for an entire species. Yeah. And I think Darth Bane took they were, out a lot of them. They were from like. Uh, weren't they people. from like Coruscant? Uh, uh, no, that's the Corban. Yeah. Was it Corban? Yeah. Is that the name of the Sith planet? You like, know all this. Corban or Moribon. The name has changed. It was originally Corban, but the name, like I said, it's been changed to Moribon in the, this day and age is canon. Okay. I just but they long facts. died out because of the Sith Wars. I like uh, I like the Mune. The Mune is Darth Plagueis. What he is. Okay. Um, I don't know really anything about the culture. I just think Darth Plagueis is a badass. <laughs> he but, is. And I, or was. I want, him, I want him canon. There's been one Mune in the Star Wars universe in canon. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember which. I think it was Revenge of the Sith. I think. But it was. What's the planet with all the uh, with all the bugs? Uh, Genosis. Oh, yeah. an Attack of the Clones? Where um, uh, they're looking at the, the table yeah. for, the, for the Death Star plans. The guy and chimes in, the banking clan has your support, or something like the that. The banking clan. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Darth Plagueis was like the head of the banking clan. Uh, he was the head of Damask Holdings, which was a branch Dema of the oh, banking clan. Oh, that's right, Damask. I'm well, listening. he was he go Damask. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. I like the mutants. I think they're cool. I think they uh, need to... Incorporate more of them in there. I agree. They're a fun yeah. race. You hear that, Disney? <laughs> you hear that, Disney? No, they don't like me now after I said <laughs> They'll never watch this. I'm going to have to go Extended Universe again. Okay. Oh. We're going to have to go to the Yuzhong Vong. Yeah. The Yuzhong Vong. I don't know anything about them, but that is such a cool name. They, they the, were after the Empire. They were after the Empire, yes. And they were actually the cause, I think, of the second Great Jedi Purge. Mm -hmm. But the reason I like them, they are the only species to come from outside the Star Wars universe. Yeah. They actually are... Another <coughs> galaxy Yeah, yeah they're from general. another galaxy entirely. And they came Is it out far, far away? literally... Uh, probably it just was far the galaxy-wide united to have to exterminate this entire species because they were so powerful. Were they bad guys? Or oh, all? yes. They? So Their whole existence was to eradicate... They, they did not really? believe in technology. They thought technology was one of the biggest blasphemies that you could really? ever do. But they used do. technology to eradicate. No, they did not. No, they did not. They did not use any technology. They used a bioengineered form of technology. Like, for so example, they were xenomorphs. Yeah. For example, their starships they flew were actually grown from coral. 
Yeah, think about that. That's oh. that's pretty nifty. That is. They, so they're tree huggers. Eh, kind of, yeah. They believe in like... Uh, they're, they're hippies. <laughs> <laughs> Except they were scary. Listen, they were the <laughs> horrifying species. They would graft like things onto their skin, like extra organs and whatnot. They were, really? They, they were so hard to kill, too. Yeah. Uh, the force did not affect them, or they could not be sensed in the force. I don't know like if yeah. the force could affect them too much. I haven't got to read those books I yet. I look into this shit. Dude, that's <laughs> awesome. Uh, they are from the Legacy of the Force series mm-hmm. with okay. the rise of uh, Jason Solo into Darth Kytus. Oh, yeah. okay. The Yuzhan Vong. Yep. Yeah. They are a that should be hard powerful, to <laughs> scary race. Y-U-N-N-Z-O-N-G? I'll forget. Like that? The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here, here's one I know all of you are waiting for. What are some of the predictions we can make for Rise of Skywalker? That's a now, yeah. Chris, you and I have spent many a time talking about this. Yes, we have. And, you know, I've thought about this for hours on end, and there's only two things I can come up with. One, it, there's got to be clones. This has to be clones out the ass. It's the only way we've got another Palpatine. That's the, now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I, there's other ways, but when you look into the fact that he did experiment with cloning, and I do believe the Force but Unleashed that's not games canon, even the books I do believe the Force Unleashed games are canon. Clones before oh. he even had one that, that was resembling himself that was functional. So, I, With that being said, it's possible that he's created a Force-sensitive clone of himself, maybe even Essence Transfer. But I also think Phasma and Snoke are clones of the same person. I think they're both clones of Palpatine. Phasma? I actually just... I, I, I buy the Snoke. Yeah. But Phasma? If you look at Phasma... Well, first off, I read the book just recently for this video. So Phasma is not a clone. I did get her full history. Her oh, Phasma? Phasma. That was a decent book. It was a good book. Yeah. I enjoyed that. But... In that book, they described some of the people as being dark hair, dark eyed, people like that. But and she, she wasn't. She's blonde hair, blue eyed. But if you look at the actress that plays Phasma, to me, she looks like a young Chev Palpatine. Like, same body structure, same facial features. Looks very similar. So I could see yeah, him being a clone he was, there. He, even he was young. He was blonde, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, he was redhead, I do believe. Oh, but yeah. I'm not a, which yeah, goes back yeah. to saying gingers don't have souls. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> so, I think more or less uh, potentially Palpatine might have uh, been able to do a, with his research essence transfer. I could see it. I could because see it. Because in the, what we've seen in the trailers, that is his throne. It, the ice throne is his throne. It's based on the cinematics from uh, concept art yeah, right from his course, actual yeah, throne room. It's his voice, so it's not his actual embodiment. It's his voice, so it could be like a force ghost. Well, Do Sith get force no, ghosts? No. There are pictures that came out, and it looks like him. You know, it doesn't look like it could be somebody else. But ghosts, too? I'm wondering if they're going to try to work it into the movies as the famed Katana Fleet, which was from one of the Thrawn novels. Which, if you have read those books and whatnot, you know Thrawn figured out how to pilot this fleet of 100 ships with 200 clones of peace. So, yet again, with that many ships, where'd you get the support? It's got to be clones. It's got to be clones. Well, and maybe they address us. There you go. Um, here's a question, and I have not researched this because I have not had a chance to catch up on Clone Wars or Rebels. What happened to all the clone soldiers? They die out really quickly. Um, their, their lifetime, since they were growth accelerated to get to that certain age, their lifetime is only a third of what a normal person is. Yeah, I think they're like So flies. by the time yeah. that the uh, Empire actually got to rise, most of the clones have died out at that point. Okay. That's why they were really heavy into recruiting literally anyone off the street or like in uh stealing babies yeah Yeah. stealing babies and stuff because they wanted to raise them for you know 18 years to be stormtroopers okay um i know you and i talked about the theory that what we know as snoke was you know maybe it was a just a corpse that was being puppeteered i i love that idea especially since they brought palpatine back uh using snoke kind of as just 
a puppet that's being manipulated by the midichlorians. I could definitely see that, that that was nothing more than just a dead corpse sitting so, there. So Snoke wasn't sentient at yeah, all? He was I, dead? Yeah. His weekend at Bernie's? <laughs> it was. I mean, if you look at like how screwed up his body is yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. It's, weak, it's it, weakened it at Kylo's. It's <laughs> weak. But, yep, at the same time, why doesn't he have yellow eyes? Why are his eyes blue? He's Another uh, idea for the corpse, though. Not necessarily, because like some even bright, Anakin, though, eyes, when and he, some open wounds, it looks like. Anakin was when he wasn't fully Sith. He didn't always have yellow eyes. Which I wondered about that, because yeah. you know, like if I were directing that film, when Anakin turned, I'd have had that actor keep yellow contacts in for the rest of the movie. Well, because sure. remember, Snoke was very big on finding the balance, keeping the balance. That's how you get the power is the balance. So he wasn't for the the good, the light side, or the dark side. So that would make sense that he doesn't have yellow eyes. He would only have yellow eyes if he fully gave in to the dark side. Or if he's a clone of Palpatine that didn't give in to the dark side. Sorry, I'm stuck on Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, because like, I remember talking to you about this. I'm like, wouldn't it... I could see this being a thing where it's like Palpatine is still alive. Maybe he never did die. I don't think he died. And maybe behind the scenes was like, you know, you, you give them the first order to look over here. So you know, they're not paying attention to what's going on over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we know in the books Palpatine, Palpatine didn't die when he got thrown in the reactor. You, oh, was, really? Yeah, it was one he, of his he clones. Out. I thought it was one of his clones. Anyway. What anyway. book was this? <laughs> Was this a non-canon book? Technically. Yeah. Technically. This is one that came out a while back. Yeah, technically he teleported out. Okay. Hmm. I like that. Yeah. I don't I don't think he died. Yeah. So wait, he shoots lightning and teleports. Is he Raiden? Yes, he is. He's now <laughs> Finish him. But yeah, so he got out of the Death Star before it exploded. Is the theory. Okay. I buy it. Do you think we will see maybe a twist and who Ray's parents were in this movie? Uh, or do you think they'll stand next to the, they were no one, they sold you for drinking money? I think what I understand, they, they are telling us who Ray's parents are. I'm pretty sure that was just misdirection by Kylo Ren, just trying to manipulate her. Too. Like, they're, honestly, I really, I really feel like this is going to turn out to be Jason and Jaina. That the, they are siblings. So that you this is think... Kinda, I think Rey it's Kylo. is a solo. I think Ray is either a solo or a Skywalker. I think she's a solo because she's got that strong connection with Kylo, well, which would be like Leia and and Luke. Well, yeah. well speaking of that, there's kind of like a, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of, with Leia and Luke and that one. There's kind of a sexual Shirtless tension Kylo, there. Kylo, Ray, <laughs> kissing <laughs> Leia, and, 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 and incestuous tension I, there. I always thought that Ray was. Um, a Skywalker, a Solo, or nobody. I don't think yeah. she's a Skywalker. I think I don't she's think a she, Solo. But all these theories that, oh, she's a Palpatine, oh, she's a Kenobi, shut up! What if uh, she is like somehow related to Qui-Gon? What if it ties all back to Qui-Gon? You know, I'll accept They that. said Qui-Gon had a love in the books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is why he was a great Jedi. But Qui-Gon died like 60 years earlier. So um, I don't, I'm not saying she's his daughter. Yeah. Was she just related to she's him? She's a Jedi. Somehow. Yeah, like maybe sure. she's his... <laughs> His niece or granddaughter or something. I mean, I'm just throwing. He didn't have that know. many clip midichlorians. I don't know. Qui Gon didn't. Oh, didn't and Ray has a I, lot of midichlorians, I really which like, is a Skywalker trait. I really like the idea of her being a nobody. You know, just somebody like a Skywalker. What yes. or what if she's a Palpatine? That was the other theory, She's too. Not. I hate that idea. <laughs> I absolutely... Don't make me get up. <laughs> <laughs> but she, I, it just doesn't make sense to me. Unless she was created through the Force, like Anakin was from Plagueis. So... I, Remember, when she steps into... In the trailer, when she steps into the throne room, Plagueis has planned this from the beginning. Yeah. And also, when she goes, she's like, show me my parents in, the, in that mirror. And it's it her. shows herself. So but maybe that, she's, she's in, in the dark side, and the dark side is for misconstruction. It doesn't show you what you want. That's right. It shows you what you, Damn dark side. <laughs> it's the clouded vision. <laughs> well, do we think that Kylo Ren's going to die in this? Yes. Movie? No. Nope. Okay, we got a yes, a yes, a I no. I feel like he's going to flip. 
I think he's going to sacrifice She's himself. going to go dark, he's going to go light, and I've, he's going to be the only way to save her. You know what they say when you go dark? <laughs> you have wow, to wear I, reflectors? <laughs> that, that scene they show in the trailer of her with the, dark, uh, the double saber and yep. the dark robes, I think it's uh, like a, a force vision or... Dagobah. I don't think that's... I don't think that's real. No. I mean, that's a pretty cool saber she has, though. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't seem... It's cool, and it's neat how you it flips out. It. it doesn't seem very sturdy, though. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't, but... Because when she does that, I mean, you see the whole thing shake. Like well, CGI well, is first well, order technology. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of Luke... How much of Hamill do we think will be in this next film? I think he's going to be there quite a bit. But he'll be a force ghost, yep, right? absolutely. More than Carrie Fisher? And I would love to wow. see... Wow. <laughs> Too soon, man. Too I want to see... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to see Darth Vader in this <laughs> one, too, as force ghost. You, you know, there was this video that I saw on YouTube. I didn't actually watch I just saw the thumbnail. And it showed Vader, and it said... Why this is the only Skywalker that should rise, and why this would save this trilogy? But mm-hmm. I'm like, how would that even be possible? Clone Vader? I know they were talking to Hayden about joining in on this one as a Force Ghost or I hope something. He does. And I really think that that might be something like they he's going to guide Shaw, her. He he's going to <laughs> guide uh, Kylo. That would be awesome. Because Kylo is so into yeah, yeah, and Kylo is so into the mask and everything. Yeah. But and, then again. Ray has his lightsaber. I was hoping he had a different mask that was more Vader esque. But I, no, I, he I, just I, rebuilt his old crap. I, I, I dig it. I also dig the voice that it gives him. Because <clears throat> yeah. they're not going super deep like with Vader. Yeah. It's still um, that actor's voice, but yeah. just. Adam Driver? Yeah, Adam Driver's voice just tweaked a little. I, I, love I how did the dig it. It pops out. Yeah. He just kind of comes out on hinges. Can I, can I ask a question? Go for it. No. What do you guys think of this whole Raylo theory? Raylo, I haven't even heard it. Kylo's going to beat up Ray. No, that lovers. Yeah, that. That's what I'm Kylo <laughs> Ren. <laughs> it's uh, Kylo Ren Luke and, and Leia. Huh? I see I, Luke and Leia. Yeah, man. It's one of the most ridiculous <laughs> things I've ever heard. I don't know. Like watching we the Last Jedi. <laughs> I watched the Last Jedi last night, and I'm like, there's there's something there between them. It could be brother and sister. It could be more. She's like, can you put a shirt on, please? Yeah. So I'm like, there, there is something there, but you know, what's what would be the end game for that? It's not going to end happily. Well, it could always end like old boy. Yeah, he's going to die. No, <laughs> I don't want, I don't want that to happen. Oh, oh Disney won't allow that. <laughs> that Plot twist: They both die. They won't allow. Well, I mean, it is the final. <laughs> they both die. Well, right. This is the end or of the Skywalker love, trilogy. Baby. They're not going to kill Ray. Ray's going to be live happily ever after, but Kylo Ren's going to die. That's my right. prediction. Do you think Ray's going to go dark and either die, or she's going to be the new Sith Lord and Kylo's going to go good? Like I, I'm pretty sure Kylo, no matter what's going to survive. But well, I'm not see, sure about we Rey. we know someone she's has to die in this power, film, man. Yeah. because they killed off Solo, they killed off Luke. Who from the old Carrie guard Fisher's is going to? Carrie Fisher's <laughs> already dead. Do you think Chewie's going to die in this film? Do you think C three PO? I think C three PO's gone. C-3PO I think a lot gone. of them are going to die. A lot of the old ones are going to die, like Chewie. I think they're man. Done. That'll crush Luke's my already life. Done. How, how and who is going to kill the Emperor if he can survive falling down a shaft in an exploding Death Star? Who, who can kill him? He's the best well, character. The thing, in Star Wars. <laughs> the thing with Sith Lords is they like to imbue certain objects with their essences. So to it's like Harry Potter. Yeah. Palpatine has a Horcrux. Yeah, the the Death Star uh, Sanctum Chamber. Wow. Which is why you hear his voice when he, they enter the chamber. Mm-hmm. He was so attached to that Death Star. Actually, they kind of show something along that lines in Clone Wars when Yoda goes to Moribon, which is the new name, like I said, and uh, he visits Darth Bane's tomb. You yep. see Bane's Force goes. Yoda kinda does. Cut, yeah, Yoda does. Uh, you see Bane's force goes kind of come out and start antagonizing Yoda, and Yoda just shoes him away like it's nothing. <laughs> but 
I, they do have the ability to kind of imbue objects with their presence. There's actually a Sith Lord that imbued a mask, and if you put the mask on, he would take over your body. Uh, Darth Nihilus, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, was it Nihilus? I think it was Nihilus. Yeah, you put the mask on, and he would take over your body, it's and like that's mask. how he would come back. <laughs> the Jim Carrey movie yeah. mask. Yeah, <laughs> but he or would come really back in all of his power. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And each time he died, he'd be re-downloading the, the mask. <laughs> Well, it's do, you, do you think that's why, you know, <laughs> Kylo Kylo has Vader's no. mask. Do you think, like, any of Vader's negative essence would be in that? Could be. What was that? It, the Force is hard. No one really yeah. understands the Force. Well, going by that theory, since Kylo has Vader's helmet, do you think any of the negative parts of Vader are still Ray in Ray also that? has Vader's lightsaber, too, though. Yeah, but it, it got yeah. ripped in half. It's yeah, still is there. She did she, it, did she reforge it? Yeah, she repaired it. What do you think, Chris? What do I think? Yeah, you've been you've been more quiet during I, I, this video I, than any I other one. I think Kylo Ren's going to beat Cheeks. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, everyone's going to feel really uncomfortable afterwards. Like this is a just... family film. <laughs> and then they're going to be like, I uh. Like that. That's funny. <laughs> Okay, so... <laughs> Obi-Wan's going to come in and be like, I have something to tell you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Here, yeah, I just here's... nailed Ray. That was your sister. <laughs> was it? <laughs> it Again? Now. What is it with this ben, family? what did you tell me? <laughs> I'm always one scene too late. Well, okay, so here's an uncomfortable question. Oh. Which is the weakest Star Wars film, in your opinions? Oh, yeah, you already know. <clears throat> the Last Jedi. And why? It was a two and a half hour slow chase scene. There was barely any action into it. It was so long. It was just boring. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Attack of the Clones. I feel it's the most forgettable out of all the films because... We all talk about like if episode one was bad. We at least remember the parts that were like, oh, I didn't like that. Attack of the Clones, when I rewatched it, I forgot most of that film. But you had so much action. You had combat. Yeah, but the I mean... The first one you had at least, uh, you know, the, the story, building the story. Then you had an action. And the third one you had conclusion. Yeah, but I think what threw it off was it was unbalanced the way it was filmed. Because you had, you know, Obi-Wan going after Jango. And then they'd fade away to more love scenes with Anakin and Padme, then go back to Obi-Wan yeah. versus Jango, and I'm just like, you show one, then the other. Using, but... And, like, I forgot half those deaths in the movie. I forgot when Dooku meets up with his council, who all was in that room. I mean, there was so much, because I'm just like, to me, it was just forgettable. The dialogue, definitely. Chris? Oh, God. That's not one of them. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, God, a Star Wars. Story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, you, are you there, God? It's me, Anakin. <laughs> as long as Avaloth doesn't come out of nowhere, we're good. <laughs> me? Yeah. Uh, probably Phantom Menace. Okay, and why? Oh, jeez. Uh, one uh, fucking Banks. Fucking Banks. <laughs> We're, 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 we're going we're to talk about him in a second, but Sith Lord okay. Binks? You see, I don't buy that theory <laughs> because <laughs> here's the thing. And one thing, good thing that Lucas did with the prequels is he started taking more of him. He took more of him out once he realized, hey, everyone can't stand this guy. <laughs> I loved him. <laughs> yeah, but if they would have went with the original plan, is that he is a Sith Lord and he's been manipulating him the whole time. When would you have revealed that? I feel like it would have been during know. Attack of the Clones. Instead yeah. of Dooku, it'd be Instead Jar Jar Dooku's coming Jar out against Obi-Wan and, and Anakin. That would have been better. Hell yes. yes. <laughs> Instead of having Windu and all the Masters come to confront Palpatine, it was actually Jar Jar confronting Palpatine at that moment. That was the big reveal. Yeah, I'd be okay with I that. I see our master now. <laughs> Walking in with them floppy ears. Look at me. I is the captain. I just, here's my thing. If he was coming after me with a lightsaber, I, no matter how evil and <laughs> He'd still trip, and then he would like chop your leg off. You're like, oh, Chris, I, no, I, I just, that Chris, was all an act. Chris would have yeah. died laughing. Yeah, <laughs> and then you'd be dead. <laughs> that was all an act. Yeah. Okay, Mike. What what would you say is the weakest of the Star oh, Wars films? I'm gonna have to agree with you when you were talking about it. I mean, 
Phantom Menace sets everything up. You can't really say any of the the original trilogy's bad. I don't. I can't. I can't think of anything bad about those. No. But um, I like all of them. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, I think you're right. I mean, a lot of that movie is kind of forgettable, and it's. I think it's just space filler between Anakin being a kid and Anakin becoming Darth Vader. So yeah, I I do agree with you. I think that's. I think that's probably the weakest film. And Elf? Um, I'm just... I, none all of canon. them. They're all weak. They're like, all weak? They're all weak. Don't get me wrong. I love each one of the movies for each one of their own ideas. I don't have a podcast ideas. partner anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think we got the most controversial line from the entire video right here. I... I like them all. They, the original trilogy really set up the universe for what it could be and what it is today. But to me, we'll just start with the first one. Phantom Menace was really weak. It moved so fast, there was no really cohesive story there. It was just a lot of bits and pieces that could have been good, but I don't think... You're right, it's like they threw a lot of like flash and action at yeah. you. But you're like, I want to slow down so I can get to know some of these characters. You can't yeah. slow down in a pod race. Yeah. <laughs> then we have you mean a, wacky races? That was awesome race. You can't tell me it wasn't. Yeah, it was good. Then we have uh, <laughs> Attack of the Clones, which, like you said, it is forgettable. I don't need a flashback every five minutes to Anakin and Padme. That was just unnecessary. The whole love story yeah. kind of bothered me. It's just, I, I'm watching, I want to watch an action movie. I want to watch lightsabers. I want to watch all this. I don't want to hear the, the, the I love you, Padme. sapping music. Oh, and, God. I don't want to lose you, Padme. I, I didn't uh, mind. Just shut up. I didn't mind the sapping. (laughs) But one thing that really bothered me about Attack of the Clones, if you have somebody walk up to you and go, hey, I just murdered a bunch of women and children. How are you doing today? (laughs) And have somebody go, oh, I love you. The fuck is that? How does that just happen? So that means means people from Naboo, or at least Padme, was racist against sand people. Uh, You're not wrong. But then we move on to... Tuscan Raiders. Or she just has no soul. She's just like, whatever. Well, oh, she's, like, royalty, she's like, so it's okay. it's okay. She's like, well, you know what? It kind of turns me on. She's like, I'm a queen. Well, okay. keep in mind, she's royalty, and her lesser beings live under the ocean. Not where they untrue. belong. Yeah. Then we move on to Revenge of the Sith, which, other than a few like key story points, like Anakin becoming Vader or things like that, it's all that movie really had. There was nothing else going on in it. They built up Grievous to be this awesome character, but didn't give you any you story or any how, information. How all the Jedi got taken out. Uh, okay. Because that's something they mentioned in the original trilogy. But that, he, that ties it together. That Order 66. I thought even, it was kind of rushed, it, Yeah, even with that, we got, like, what, four scenes of, like, Ayla Secura getting taken out. We got Plo Koon taken out. And a couple others, but it's just, it's a glimpse. Don't get me wrong. I love Order 66. I love all the survivors. I love all the different stories and whatnot of the Jedi surviving on the planets from, from Order 66. But they gave us so little detail about really anything that was going on. Do you think I, the Wookiees were shoehorned into that movie? Yeah, I really do. I, I, I was hey. talking to some other people, and they're like, you know, I like Chewbacca, but there was no reason for him yeah. to be in Revenge of the Sith. Mm-hmm. I don't think the movies well, really do Yoda, a good enough. <laughs> well, just to Someone hear Yoda just, just, just to hear Yoda say Wookies. Well, Yoda has to be carried around, you know. <laughs> He's an old man. Like He's only I, close to nine hundred. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, no, none of us will look that good at nine hundred. Well, speak for yourself. <laughs> the original Frozen, trilogy, Carbonite. I enjoyed. I'm not going to sit here and pick apart those three because they are classics. They may not do the best at explaining things or really getting yeah. into the depth of the lore. <laughs> but those, those three are probably the most enjoyable, with the exception of Rogue One, which is the best. Force Awakens and Last Jedi are terrible. I do not like the fact that Force Awakens is just a rehash of A New Hope. Don't get me wrong, it was fun to watch. It had a lot of really fun moments in it, a lot of callbacks. But, but I that was put there to make you... To give you the old Star Wars feels again. You're not I wrong. I mean, I understand, yeah, a lot of it really mirrored the first movie, but... The only reason I didn't like the fact it mirrored it was because The Last Jedi could not follow up. It, yep. del- it gave you nothing. That, that, that was my Jedi. biggest complaint. I got all hyped up because con- it was, you know, information, action, conclusion, and I got to this, The Last Jedi and was like, this is just so boring. Where's the action? It was like... When it actually got action, oh, 
it was like ten minutes done. The coolest thing about that entire movie was, was that, Holdo. The casino. No, oh. Holdo. <laughs> the Holdo <laughs> maneuver. Some people online, if you say the casino was the best part, you're going to get mad. No, well, the Holdo ma- maneuver. That was the I, best part of that, about that entire movie. Well, yeah, that was. I, cool. I don't know. My, never seen anything. Like my that. favorite scene was the um, Luke and Yoda scene. I love yeah, watching that, that scene too. so much. I love how, like, Young's Luke's, I'm going to burn it. I can't burn it. Yoda's like, fine, I'll burn it, you know? And I really didn't care to see but he knew the books Luke, uh, you know, milk a giant sea creature yeah, at the that, first opening scene. That was uncomfortable. That was uncomfortable. That. I thought that really? was funny. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, oh, that was funny. Like, now you yeah. know how McDonald's gets their shamrock shakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so That's moving wrong. on. Moving on. <laughs> okay. What is, oh, and you can only do one. What is one part of the movies that you would change? It has to be one movie, uh, one part that you would just go back and change. Uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> The Last Jedi, different director. Okay. Uh, I don't agree with that. I'm, I'm going to go Well, la- there's a reason why I mean, that they switched Luper? the directors on this next I one. I saw Brick. I liked Brick. I haven't seen that. Brick, you had Brick. Oh, yeah. Brick's Did you great see movie. Looper? I haven't Looper. seen Looper. It's an awesome film, yeah. man. Looper was good. It was Brick's really good. Real. Have you seen Brick? No. Oh, never heard oh of it. I just felt like it's well, one of the his way movies, it performed, but it's like... it was just to me such a terrible film. I cannot get past it. No, that. he didn't ask what film. He asked what part. Oh, yeah, the entire part. <laughs> no, uh, the part okay, that starts so to the, the entire part. part <laughs> just the the uh, the chase scene. I felt the slow moving chase scene. <laughs> For two hours straight. I've never heard anybody put it that way. It's a two-hour chase scene. Yeah. Slow moving chase scene. It's that like that, did not need Simpson to be that in the movie. <laughs> that was Am not I dating necessary. <laughs> I was not. I was sitting on the edge of my seat for maybe five minutes, and then I was like, okay. I'm going to go Last Jedi also. The one part I would change, Luke dying at the end. I, I think Luke should have made it through that movie, maybe died in Rise of Skywalker, but I will say, you know, when I saw that, a minor child cried. And I, I know, I felt like I watched Luke die, and I'm just like, oh. and I, you know, I'm not going to be like, oh, it, it ruined my childhood. It didn't ruin my childhood, but it did. I was just bummed out that that's how Skywalker died. Um, yeah, he was oh. a bitch. <laughs> uh, here's my thing. with I'll go with The Last Jedi. I was really? originally going to think that, about the Luke Skywalker thing, but I'm not going to repeat the same thing you said. Uh, Snoke getting taken out so oh, easily. Yeah. I was like, so you watch the fir- you watch uh, um, the Force Awakens, and they build him up, and then he just goes down like a bitch. Well, that also shows that Kylo is very freaking powerful. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, the for Snoke to not notice what he's doing, mm-hmm. you know, or Snoke's just a big wuss. Or he's paying attention to more what Ray's doing yeah. than his own apprentice. Well, yeah, I mean, if, like, if, I can see his thoughts, I can see well, his mind. Or maybe, I control well, them. remember, it sounds like he chose his words very carefully. Yeah. And maybe if, if like what Chris and I were talking about, if he were just a puppeteer okay. corpse, whoever's pulling the strings, like, yeah, this will push Kylo even further over yeah. the edge. I, I think this. that's a better angle to, to go with. In fact, they should go with that. <laughs> I well, mean, I did, I do got to say, though, him killing Snoke, I'm now the Supreme Leader, so now you do my bidding. Yeah. I did like to see that, though. Him throw that little, you know, what I forget his name, like across the room or whatever, yeah. choking him. Because, you know, that guy just, through two movies, just grinded Kylo's gears so mm-hmm. much. I thought he was dead for sure, but he let him live because he knew I can use this guy to command Hold the army. He's, he works for me now. Yeah, wasn't it like Holt? General Hux. 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 Armitage yeah. Hux. Hugs. 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 <laughs> Free hugs. I'm, I'm going to go with The Last Jedi also, but the part with the uh, the Princess Leia, Mary Poppins thing. Oh, oh yeah. okay. <clears throat> they, they oh, ha- you know, she passed away. Mm-hmm. Carrie Fisher passed away before that movie came out. And they, they CGI'd everything. They had, a, they had a way. I mean, they had a perfect out. Yeah. You know, I hate yeah. to say that. It because I liked Carrie Fisher, hmm. but you know they had a perfect way to to write her out of the movie. But I know she was, or write her out of everything. But I know she had more scenes later on. So okay, I ain't gonna say 
All right, so Chris? Uh, I think I already mentioned the scene that I change, uh, Anakin murdering women and children, and then Padme saying I love you. That's just that. <laughs> yeah. Out of all the Maybe offenders, Padme's a bigger villain than Anakin. Yeah. I, you might not be wrong. <laughs> Maybe it's all that make, uh, Darth Vader, or she did make Luke, who is also a villain. Who's a villain? Luke. Uh, because he killed millions of people on a Death Star, but they were all bad. Innocent. Uh, they were just doing their jobs. They weren't necessarily bad. They were more lawful neutral. They were just they were doing, doing evil jobs. things. They were just doing their jobs. And a lot of them were constri- constri- what? conscripted. What? Conscripted? Yeah. Stolen, Stolen at birth. Oh. oh. And forced to work. Well, the stormtroopers weren't. Like in the Some originals? Were. Yeah, some yeah. were. Some were. Well, a lot of just the new order stuff. No, no I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, a lot of them. It was a training program because yeah, the clones but, were dying out so quickly. But how how good uh, could they have been when they were seeing people get killed and they're like rebel scum? But you see in the Han Solo movie, them recruiting people. Yeah, yeah. because they were recruiting people that were so poor that they they didn't have a choice: join it or stay here in the slum. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see Solo. You I thought you did. You're missing out. No, oh, you're not. Oh. No, you're not. I, I, I would recommend. I enjoyed it. I thought Don't there was a lot of humor there in it. Thinking Harrison Ford is the only thing I can say. Let me tell you, it was a really fun movie. Huh? I did have really fun with fun. it. I mean, you don't have to go in there thinking it's super serious, but it was really fun. There's only one thing I wanted from that movie more, and that was Han Solo and the Imperial Flight Academy. Yes, that, that would have been cool. That was the only thing I wanted that from that really movie, cool. and it was the only thing they didn't give me. <laughs> they mentioned it, and then they put him on the ground. Yeah, it was disappointing. <laughs> because he, he thinks for himself. <laughs> yeah. Woody Harrelson was great in that film, though. Oh, I know. Yeah. Okay, what would you say is the best part of Star Wars fandom? Right here. Yeah. Right here. This guy. Talking about it. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding, dude. we don't mention him. Oh. The fact that if you wanted to cosplay or dress up in Star Wars garb, you don't have to follow any character. You can be anyone yeah. or anything in the Star Wars universe because it's that big. Yeah. I love that. It's just there's never You can throw stories. on a, a brown robe and call yourself a Jedi. Yeah. And make up your own Jedi name. Yeah. It's just there's just so much you Darth can do. Name. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's <laughs> the fandom as a whole. I'm not a big fan of a lot a lot of the fandom. I mean you know, everybody bitched and cried about The Last Jedi, and I understand. I mean, I went in there thinking it was going to be this movie, and it was nothing that I expected. But I still enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, all these people whining and crying, and you ruined my childhood, Ryan Johnson sucks balls. I just, I don't, I just don't get it. Well, it's a fucking movie for crying out loud. <laughs> it's a space fantasy with lightsabers and ships and blasters. And it's Space Wizards. A, and Space Wizards. It's just a movie. It's I enjoyed it, but I didn't care <laughs> You're for You're stuck it on that, aren't after you? After that. I, the, the, well, to me, there's no rewind. Well, it, that, it, it, that, that falls to my next question. What is the worst part of the fandom? I just answered it. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I, was sitting there, I was sitting there no, thinking about what um, the actress who played Rose went through. Yeah, that was bullshit, That is man. ridiculous. And you know what? She wasn't... She didn't say stuff that she wasn't supposed to say that made it bad. Right. Yeah, she yeah, was yeah, reading she was a script. Mm-hmm. She was good at what she did. Yeah. My thing, like I, you, the her her story could have been okay with her. They they could have done everything without her in it. But she, I thought she was still really good. At what she did. Yeah, and yeah. I listened to the audio book of of her and her sister. Mm-hmm. I forgot what it was called, Blue Squadron or something. Something like, like that. that. Yeah. And it was really good. I mean, I really enjoyed it, but. Well, I think she became a scapegoat for people who didn't like the movie anyway, yeah. and they wanted to focus on something, because a lot of what, what Rose and Finn did, especially with the casino, I thought just didn't add to the movie. Right. And I th- but, I mean, for people to be like, oh, she's the worst character, I'm like, Benicio Del Toro, I thought was the worst yeah, character, because he didn't she's add just anything. She's a minor character. Del like Toro, Del Toro is great at being a scumbag. Well, Yeah. I want to see a movie with that character. Just and if we it. if we got something to like Even a really short, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd watch it. But uh, you know, like going back to this because I know like like to me, I don't think Rose added much to the movie. But there's a lot of people that didn't really add much. 
and I might get a lot of hate mail for this. I didn't think Poe Dameron added much to that no, movie at all. No. Captain Phasma didn't add a lot. And, I, and they I, made her out to be the biggest badass ever. You know, I think she's going to be like Boba Fett, where yeah, you don't she, get much of her in the movies, but like in the books and everything, she's going to be like this you think unstoppable in years, badass. She's going to be super awesome. Yeah. yeah like I, Boba Fett. Yeah. Even though he died. Nah, I, would not I don't have, think he died. I would not have fucked You're with Book Phasma. You're getting beaten by a guy with her. a lightsaber who's Especially never after had the book. any prior oh, yeah. training. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, you're getting your butt kicked by a guy with a lightsaber who has no training in, in hand-to-hand combat. Finn? Oh, Finn didn't have uh, a lightsaber. He had that uh, that well, one uh, Imperial yeah, sure, thing. For a while, he had a lightsaber. Yeah, but he knew how to wield stick-type weapons. Yeah. Just like everybody But well, she is an elite officer. Guy stick weapon. But, but he was trained in combat. Hardly. In, by her, hurts. actually. Were you there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he was, I was. In, in the Stormtrooper program, he was trained in combat. And everybody bitches about Rey being able to wield a lightsaber and take on Kylo Ren. But Rey she's has been, force abilities. Well, also, she's been fighting all her life with that bow staff type right. thing. I mean, all you gotta do is swing it the other way. And the cool thing with <laughs> Don't grab the middle part. accelerated training. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you know, I think yeah, what I think also with the, that the woman who played uh-huh. Rose, there was this uh, undercurrent online that uh, Last Jedi was just like forcing feminism on people, and then you had a bunch of other uh, YouTubers who were like, "Yeah, it's a feminist film. That's why they shoehorned this chick in there," and then they uh-huh. sat their their rabbit they dogs gotta, on them. They got to put a pretty face in it. That's it. I, it and again, that woman didn't deserve to. No, no, she, she, no, she, didn't, she didn't at all. You know. The, the assholes of the fandom suck. Yup. <laughs> yup. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the people that at make from it... from the monkey on Twitter, you can tell me all you want. I'll give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> or at Chris Malice on Twitter. Yeah. It's I, at real OJ. No, it's at Chris Malice. It's at, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't even... No, I do. I, I went to your Twitter. <laughs> no, you it's didn't. at Chris Malice. <laughs> oh, sweet. I haven't been on there in like... Um, okay, so <laughs> here's, here's an interesting question for you guys. Jedi or Sith? Join the dark side. <laughs> It was for the cookies, wasn't it? No. <laughs> well, because you got the Santa hat on. It has it to be for the cookies. Off. <laughs> it was. I'm going to say Jedi. I'm, I'm going to say Sith. Sith. There is no chaos. There is only harmony. I'm definitely a Jedi. And I'm actually, not alone. Okay. <laughs> fun was, little tidbit. There is only passion. That's first line. That's but Sith, right? The reason I used that one line is because it was actually removed during Mara Jade's funeral from the Jedi Mantra. Really? Yes. Wow. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's your favorite Star Wars theory? Like, in all the fandom, they're like, this is a popular theory or this is a popular theory. Palpatine's back, man. That's more confirmed than a theory. <laughs> <laughs> well, for a while. The, the Snoke. Well, the Snoke thing? Yeah, the, the Snoke being puppeted. I like that idea. Yeah. It makes it it makes his character more interesting. It makes if that's if you throw uh, if that if they confirm that or put that out in the third one, uh, it would make it uh, Snoke's death more acceptable because he just he goes down like such a bitch. Yeah. Maybe this next <laughs> one will yeah confirm that. Rilo. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a I thought about this. The theory I really like is that Han <coughs> willingly let Kylo kill him, knowing what was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. He did. Because the way how Kylo says thank you, it's like Han knows, okay, Snoke's going to kill my son if he doesn't kill me. If I give him more time to live, he could be redeemed. Mm-hmm. Harrison you know? Ford didn't want to be in the second one. Well, well, there was that. There was that. But I mean, just. He didn't want to be in Empire Strikes Back. The, the, way, the way it. It happened and everything. I'm just yeah. like, and just the way they chose the words carefully, I'm like, I like this theory. I can see yeah. it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Mine's the Jar Jar Dark Side theory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, it, 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 after watching those theory videos, I totally buy it. Oh, yeah. I'm gullible, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, straight up judging by how all of his falls and, you know, he trips, throws a uh, sticky detonator grenade onto a tank and blows it up. Mm-hmm. Pure coincidence. He he his leg gets caught on that robot, and he's able to manipulate it, swinging his leg around trying to unhook it. That makes the it shoot the blaster yeah, and yeah. kill like three or four other ones. Yep. Yeah. And, and he can jump like seven, eight feet in the air from a dead standstill. Yep. And he can jump straight down and then move extremely quick. He's uh 
He's a he's a Sith Lord. <laughs> and he can lick a pod racer arc. <laughs> what? Yeah, remember he yeah. got shocked and Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled <pong> all. <laughs> My I will say that what? N64 game is great. My favorite theory is any theory that I can sit down and talk with somebody about Star Wars. Huh. Say there's so many of them out there that it's say. just fun to speculate. Which could be like an entire video in and of itself. Oh, really could. Oh yeah. yeah. We could sit down for hours <laughs> talking yeah. theories. Yeah. <laughs> well, strictly canon. Once you get off a of canon, hashtag not my canon. Uh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's fired again. <laughs> okay, and and here's one that I, I asked a couple of you a couple days ago when I was rewatching episode one. Did Obi Wan use hate to beat Darth Maul? No, and I'm going to go ahead and take the floor for this one because this was brought up earlier during this conversation. I do not think that he used hate. In fact, I think it was the death of Darth Pelagus that allowed Obi Wan to get the upper hand on Who's Darth Pelagus or Pelagus, however oh, you pronounce okay. it. Uh, because he died around the same few moments that Darth Maul was killed. It was really? da- it was damn near simultaneous. Oh my god, he's right. So I'm wondering if Darth Maul didn't die. <laughs> I'm wondering if Maul his uh or he sensed Pelagus' death and that caused him to be thrown off and Obi Wan got the upper hand. That's something to consider. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> like like Maul felt it in the force. Yeah. Man, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, because, uh, <laughs> if you rewatch it and stuff, you can see, like, Maul's throwing a lot of his, his moves and stuff. He's not actually making contact on purpose and stuff. He's not intentionally striking. Oh, yeah. He's more or less just playing. Yeah. Except with Qui-Gon. Which right, goes yeah. back to that theory that they wanted, they needed Qui-Gon to die if they were going to move their plan forward. Right. Mm-hmm. I didn't think you were allowed to kill Liam Neeson, though. Yeah, well, it's like a thing you can't kill Tom Hanks. Well, I mean, they did it in a what a million ways to die in the West. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think you were allowed. To, I thought that was against. I think there's a couple rules. other uh, movies he died. He's died. Did he die in Rob Roy or whatever? I think so. Yeah. I think he died in Roadhouse too. Was he? No, no, that was it? his brother. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> well, I think he might have attacked in frustration, no, but not. That's hate. Patrick Swayze's yeah. brother. I Never agree. Mind. Yeah. <laughs> because he he gained more confidence. He, like he had to defeat him at that point more well, than hate. There's, there's a there's a little part where they say, where um, Obi Wan says to Luke, "I took it upon myself to train your father as a Jedi." He didn't. He was forced into do it yeah. by Qui Gon. Because well, that promise. Because Qui Gon said, "Promise yeah. me you'll train the boy." Nope. That's that's one of the little things that little tiny things that bothered me. <laughs> well, he also tricked Luke into joining the rebellion and pushing him into all that. Yeah, he drove Yeah, him I mean, it. he yeah, convinced right. the stormtroopers to kill Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just I'm being facetious. Boba Fett did that. <laughs> well, you know, like we're almost out of time here anyway, so We'll go ahead and wrap this up. This was fun. Maybe there's something we can do more often. Oh, God, please. Uh, this is so much fun. <laughs> if any of you have anything you want to tell us about this video, be sure to comment in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and please share this with all the Star Wars fans you can. You can follow us on both uh, social media like Facebook or Twitter. Um, do you guys have anything you want to plug before we go? I don't know what plug means. No, push, yeah, advertise, yeah. Um, uh, you know. Uh, I, the only thing I want to say is if I've said anything that's incorrect, please do correct me through comments. I'd like to get my facts straight. You don't want to put that out there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, it's kind of my thing. You, you I don't, don't like, want to put that out Have you not been on YouTube? He speaks I mean, for Did you not hear us talk about the fandom? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you're not wrong. He speaks strictly for himself. <laughs> You did not hear that last message. <laughs> Just cut that one out. Um, Mike, did you have anything you wanted to plug? <laughs> no, maybe not maybe really. what's on your shirt? Uh, ChannelStarWars.com, um, and we got a few videos up there. Uh, one I was really proud of is I did a went to a vintage toy store and did a did an interview with them. Got the whole store is really really fun to do. Nice. So check that out. And um, yeah, that's all I can think of. At from the monkey on Twitter. Eric, you got anything you want to plug or tell the people about? Not at this moment, but looking forward to joining with more of these videos with the group. Heck yeah. yeah. Chris, 
Aside from space incest, is there anything you want to talk about before we go? Chris Malice. I'm Chris Malice, and I approve this message. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm St. Adam. I'm from the Adam and Chris Show. May the Force be with you.